Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about the Omega Days event. I have received a lot of questions in regards of my own personal plans for it, as well as people asking, you know, how much you can get for what amount of units, effectively. And ultimately also whether I think these units will be better served in July 4th. To answer which is, yeah, probably. July 4th is likely going to have more value in it than these offers, just because as the time elapses, every next set of offers is typically better value. That said, May 8th till May 15th is the Omega Days event. And for me personally, um, I'm basically going to spend all the units that I have, which whatever I grabbed uh, for from spring cleaning, obviously saved all that. I'm going to grind out as many units as I can. And provisionally, I'm kind of looking at 18K units uh, slightly over it. And I'm going to explain why in a moment. Uh, however, first, we're going to take a look at what you get for uh, all that spend. And uh, to do that, uh, I'm kind of, I used this uh, DNA list as reference just to double check the totals, uh, total cost of this event is 36,900 units. Obviously, you don't have to spend as much and you can still get a ton of great value. And exactly what you can get, I found this super helpful spreadsheet in my Alliance chat. And since the totals matched, I haven't completely checked everything, but since the totals matched with the DNA sheet as well, DNA 3000, then I assume that this can be used as a safe screenshot of where you can, you know, figure out how much you will be able to get for yourself and what you're going to get for it. The most notable things to discuss here for sure is the cheapest seven star crystal that you will get guaranteed seven star, seven star Omega crystal, 5,700 units. And then the next seven star crystals only will come at 17,400 units, and that's going to be two. So for uh, 5,700 units, you will be able to get seven star Omega crystal, you know, uh, as well as majority of the stuff in the alpha track, all the tier two alphas, tier five basics, tier five CC selectors, uh, tier six basics, tier three alphas, um, 10K six star shards in total, I believe, DNA actually, I believe, did, in fact, wrote it out exactly for that milestone. So we're going to use that. So for 5,700 units, which I think is a very solid, you know, amount to spend. It's not unrealistic for players to grind out 6,000 units. And for those 6,000 units, you would get one seven star Omega Crystal, one six star Nexus, 7,500 seven star shots, 25k six star shots, eight. Omega Valiant Crystals, 14 Omega Paragon Crystals, you would get 200 Tier 2 Dust as well, 1.5 Tier 6 CC Selectors, and the rest of the stuff. So ultimately, it is up to you to figure out whether this is worth it, because, yeah, this would be, like, the first kind of, like, big set, you know, very valuable milestone, where you do get that 7 Star Omega Crystal, and that 7 Star Omega Crystal is kind of a big deal, which is exactly what I'm going to talk about a bit later in the video. And, uh, you know, another ascension, obviously a whole bunch of crystals that you're going to open along the way, as well as some tier, uh, tier six basics, tier three alphas. That's always helpful as well as tier six CCs. Why not? Right. Then in order to max out alpha track and you do get both, this is also an important thing that people ask if you are, let's say Valiant or a Paragon player, uh, as you are earning points in one, you will be earning points in the other as well. This is not separate. So if you spend 17,400 units, for instance, you would get three seven star mega crystals, one here, one here, and one here, virtually everything else in this track as well, like second ascension. So there would be uh, 400 dust, the 5k Titan shards, the 5k seven star shards, another tier six CC selector would be included in that as well as one to two gem uh, and you know more volume crystals and stuff. So uh, after that point is where the really, really juicy stuff starts in terms of rank of materials. Another one to two gem, 
you know, there's going to be two, three German 27,000 units right here, as well as the Awakening German 30, so on and so forth. And uh, that is what you need to kind of like calculate for yourself. Is it worth it? I think definitely for kind of like more moderate participants, 5,700 unit investment is what you're looking at. Then the middle tier would be 17,400, which is, you know, more or less what I'm targeting. And then the mega whales with the 100 signature stones, the awakening gem, 2 to 3 gem, 7 star omega selector, all that stuff. That totals out at 36,900 yen. And there have been a lot of people who are obviously very, very critical for this event. And I will, you know, explain my best why I am personally interested in this event. And uh, the reason for it is quite simple. If I can get three of these champions, there's just no bad pull, really. I think every single one of those, like maybe Corus, not immediately if I don't have like a massive investment in him. But uh, I haven't been very lucky pulling seven star champions. Like in the previous crystals, these special ones as well, like, you know, I didn't get the shocker. I didn't get the champions that I was really after. I ended up with like a duped Professor X and this and that and that. And in general, I am in a situation where at the moment I'm still, you know, uh, wanting to ascend a whole bunch of six star champions that exist as seven stars that I just don't have. And that's not great. And uh, when I look at my seven star rank ups, yeah, there are champions to rank up. I don't have, like, I'm not in a situation where I have absolutely no one to rank up. But I don't think I have a single champion on my account that I'm, like, rushing or desperate to take to rank two and possibly rank three. There are some cool champions, obviously. But uh, there's very few of the ones that I'm like, yeah, they definitely have to rank up that champion. And yeah, for me, the 7 star acquisition, you know, it hasn't been smooth sailing. Obviously, I'm not even going to mention the absence of Juggernaut, because that's, that's a separate issue in entirety. But ultimately, more so than rank up materials for me right now, um, I'm after champions. I'm after champions that I want to invest. On top of it all, Rank up materials will become more readily available. Specific champion acquisition is seven stars. Possibly not. Or at least I think it's going to happen much slower. So almost every event we have, you know, rank up materials. And not every event you have a chance to shoot fish in a barrel effectively. Because every single one of these champions, Omega Sentinel, I definitely bare minimum rank to that champion. Mega Red, if I manage to dupe him, and probably rank 2 that champion, give him 6 stones, maybe rank 3. Mallman, unduped, rank 2, easy, maybe high. Quicksilver, even unduped, rank 2. Longshot, even unduped, probably rank 2. Corvus, the same. I don't think there's a single bad champion in here. That is why, you know, I want to get as many of them as possible, just so I have an outlet for my rank of resources. Primarily that. Obviously, the fact that there are still a couple of ascensions that I can grab. And as I mentioned before, there are a ton of champions that I still want to ascend. And some other useful materials all about it. I will realistically not be able to grab everything from there. But, you know, it doesn't mean that I shouldn't do my best within my means to kind of like further my account. And as you know, a great anecdotal example, last couple of big events that I have taken part of, uh, or bigger openings that I have had, we can take my spring cleaning opening, for example, a double Titan crystals, which was destroyer and blade. I have, you know, maxed out six star destroyer, and I think destroyer kind of needs his awakening ability. I'm not, you know, in a rush to invest in any of those two champions. All my basic pulls were, you know, borderline meaningless. I got like Colossus, which is not a great candidate for rank up and so on and so forth. And ultimately I do have champions. Well, I do have classes where I'm just, you know, again, not looking to rank up pretty much anything. This event can change that. Therefore, to me, I, I, I think it's quite important. And that is exactly why I'm, you know, planning to spend as much units as I have. And then I'm going to spend time till July trying to rebuild my unit stash. I'm not saying that is the right answer for everybody. And I have done my best to show you guys what you will get 
for whatever amount of units you spend. If you ask me directly, do I think July 4th will offer you better bang for your buck? For 99% of the people or 90% of the people, I will say yes. Uh, in my situation, also quite possibly, I don't know what's going to happen on July 4th, but to me right now, it makes sense to acquire champions that I might not have a chance to get for a very, very long time, especially considering that there are no real bad choices and it could, you know, legitimately be worthwhile for me to invest in those champions. Right. So that is the unit spend for the Omega Days event. Again, just as a reminder, it will start uh, on 8th, the next Wednesday, six days from now. Let me know what you guys think, and I'm going to catch you soon. Bye-bye. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the next